This presentation is on vo mass, volume, and density. What is mass? Mass can be considered the weight of an object. Mass is a collection of incoherent particles or objects that form one body. How can mass be found? Mass can be measured by using a triple beam balance scale. You put the object on the scale, start by moving the 100's place value on the scale first, and then move the 10's and the 1's. What is volume? Volume is the amount of three-dimensional space a substance occupies. How can volume be found? You can find the volume of a rectangle by measuring the length, the width, and the height. Then you multiply all three of those numbers together and find your answer. You can find the volume of a cylinder by multiplying the radius twice and then multiplying that by pi and the height of the cylinder. You can find the volume of a sphere by multiplying the radius three times, then multiplying the result by pi. You can find the volume of a cone by multiplying the radius twice, and then multiplying the result by one-third and the height of the cone. What is density? Density is the mass per unit volume of a substance. In other words, it is how tightly the material is crammed together. How can density be found? Density can be found by finding mass and volume of an object, and then dividing the mass by the volume. The formula for density is mass divided by volume. Now here are some examples. Some examples of mass can be a rock, a chair, or even a building. Some examples of volume are the amount of water in a lake, the amount of soda in a cup, or the amount of soup in a bowl. Some examples of density are a book, metal, and sand. Why are these measurements important? Mass and volume are important because you could not calculate density without calculating the mass and volume of the material first. Density is important because it measures how dense an object is. Any questions?